How much does Hachimura help the Lakers? Uh, well, it doesn't move the needle for me a whole lot, Skip. Uh, I mean, people are not really trained guys uh, that can help other teams win. They want to keep them for themselves. Uh, I, I understand the Wizards are not going anywhere, and it says, okay, let's see if we can get, you know, take Kendrick Nunn, take these second-round picks. Maybe we can parlay that into mm -hmm. something else. I think the Lakers are going to need a little bit more if they want to contend in 2023. But this is a low, a low risk with the potential to be something big on, on the upside. Um, but everything comes back. Look, I, I get Rui Hachimura, and he's, he's tremendous at shooting the three skip. He's shooting 43, 42% on wide open threes, 45.5% on the left corner of the threes. Okay, a sharp shooter. Everything is contingent on Anthony Davis. When does he come back, and how long can he stay healthy? Because if he can stay healthy for a significant period of time, and he played to the level in which he was playing before he got hurt. And LeBron continues to play at his level. And they can, and, and Hachimura, now, this is what we know, Skip. A lot of guys can shoot the basketball when they're on another team. Agreed. But it's all of a sudden they get to LeBron. It's like LeBron to win. Because every time the ball going off, air ball, the ball going up in the stands and hit the corner and everything else. Yep. Because that light. It's something about the lights when it's LeBron James. It's like you're on Broadway. Mm-hmm. You know, who's that? Uh, George Benson said the, night, the lights are bright on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like they're even brighter when you play alongside LeBron James. I think others sang that song before. They did? Okay. Go okay. Go ahead. But uh, and so with that being said, Skip, yep. only a handful of guys have ever been able to rise to the occasion. Yep. A D. Wade, mm -hmm. a Kyrie Irving, yep. Anthony Davis for that one season. But there have been a lot of guys that that light got too hot and they couldn't handle it. So, look. They said uh, uh, 12 players have played 400 minutes for the Lakers this season. Eight of them are guards. So they are really undersized, Skip. And you, look, and you go to the closing lineup, you look at the closing lineup they had that the other night, they were really small. They are a really small team. Basically, it was LeBron and TB. And a lot of times, it's TB or LeBron, especially when AB, uh, uh, AB, uh, AD has been out. Mm -hmm. So he does give them some, some size. Uh, he played really well. Uh, the last game he played, he got 30 oh, against the Magic. Great. So yep. that, that, that Lakers like, damn, he can mm -hmm. get 30? Wait, is that the same Orlando that just beat Boston for a third time? Yeah, you saw that, too. And what we did, we took them apart. Huh. You see what Goat did, you go took them uh, apart. Yeah, but what about the law firm that you keep raving uh, about up in Boston? Uh, uh, Tatum was out. Tatum got hurt. Oh, okay. Tweaked something. But he'd something, be all right. Something about the magic got the hey, number. There ain't no magic there. <laughs> it, ain't no, it ain't no magic there. But, Skip, look, I, it, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. We'll see. See what he does tonight and uh, mm. when he gets in the lineup. But, you know, go. Go do go to the go has a way of making people look better than they actually are. He, they call okay. it makeup because he can make you look real good. Okay, but out of one side of your mouth, you just said he can make you look real bad, and the other side, you said make no, they you make, make themselves look bad because the expectations because okay, the thing I got it. ain't no expectation, Skip. Ain't no expectation in Washington. I agree with that, <laughs> which is why on my scale of one to ten in impact. Hashimura is a nice player, but he's a three in okay, impact. Okay, you gave a three, okay. But, but he's six eight. He was mm -hmm. the ninth overall pick out of Gonzaga. He will play defense. Yes. He cares about playing yeah. defense. So nice size. Yeah, good good size to him. He knows how to play basketball. And yet, a year ago, he had a career year shooting threes. He was 45%, but his attempts were so low because he wasn't starting for even the Wizards, right? right? So his attempts ranked 250th in the league because he just didn't shoot that many. He shot 123 the whole season yeah. long but he did make 45% of them. Okay, I'll give you that. This year, he's reverted back to the mean, which is he's at 33.7% because he's a, say, a 36% career three-point right. shooter. Well, that we but, can use that. Okay, but to your point, catch and shoot, corner threes, that's what LeBron yeah. needs. So now, it's one thing to make those threes <laughs> in Washington, in Washington <laughs> but when you get in the crypt, man, the lights get hot. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're saying, wait, we're on TNT again tonight? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you're always on TNT. Yeah. Right? yeah. Because that guy's playing right. with you. And that guy needs you. And you say, oh, he needs me to make threes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he does. absolutely does. They're, they're starving for threes. But the irony of this was Kendrick Nunn gets traded for him. And he if I look back at, at, at last week against Sacramento and Memphis, he made seven of 15 threes. And mm -hmm. I'm saying that little lefty was starting to pop he start, it. He was. Right? He was. He was starting to get hot. Okay. So now you just gave him up in the deal. Well, are you sure? But he's just, he's a tiny little he, guard. Right, right. They need, they need size. Yeah, okay. They need size. And they don't have Austin Reeves back yet. And they don't have Lonnie who, who, back. who mainly played guard in, in college, but he's playing small forward when he's playing with LeBron. He, he is. Both, both those are, are taller guards. Yes. You know, both yeah. he and Lonnie Walker. Right. But the point is, 
in the end, it's going to come down to what you say as AD. But I, I got to make the point. I'm becoming more and more of a Schroeder fan because, oh, Schroeder. listen, listen, he is flat out fearless. Yes. And I know he's prone to have an occasional no game, off game, yeah, where yeah. you say, what, what, what just happened tonight? Right. But if we could see the end of the Memphis game, it was it, it was a stunner to me because of what Schroeder did, because I thought you guys were done. Skip, before you say that, before we roll the tape, we're standing in, Desmond Bain came up on, out from under the basket. He looks me dead in the eye. He said, you know this game over. Ask everybody sitting in the row. I said, we gonna win this game. Did you? At what stage? At what? It point? was like 10 seconds before he got the ball stolen. You're so, kidding. Yes. Well, he, it was over and he got it taken from him. Yes. He, said, he comes over, he said, he looks dead, looks dead by He said, you know this game over. Well, he just jinxed his own demise. He, I said, we're going to win this. I said, either we're going to win it in regulation with LeBron three or we're going to get you the overtime, but we winning this game. Okay. And lo and behold, he shoots through, gets his back, turned right. through and so did that. Speaking of LeBron threes, <laughs> let's see what happened. With 27 seconds left, LeBron takes a three that could have been a huge one because it could have tied the game. Yes. From the top, it's two feet beyond the top, and he lipped it. And Russ gets the rebound because Stephen Adams couldn't get off. Oh, I think that was Brent, uh, Clark. Was Clark. Uh, so so there, there's an easy rebound to be had and a little putback. So now you're just down one. Right. Then Tyus Jones goes to the line and makes a couple of free throws. Then Schroeder gets fouled and makes – he will make all of his yes. late-game free throws. Yes. He's like a dead eye and completely, utterly clutch. And now we got the play in question after he makes his two free throws – you're still in big trouble yes. at that point, and watch what he does to the aforementioned you, Desmond Bain. He takes the ball, comes from behind, and takes the ball and goes straight up with foul. it and makes it and, yes. and wins it. Yep. You're kidding. And then he, as usual, he swishes every free throw. Yep. He swished it, and all of a sudden you're up two, and then that's the end of that game. I wish we could add it because he walks from out of the timeout because uh, they call the timeout yep. to advance the ball. And he's over in the corner, and he looks at me and says, you know this game over, right? I said, no, it's not. I said, we're yeah, going to win this game. I don't think he was trash talking. I think he's a good guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think he was trying to instigate or. No, no, no. But yeah. he actually thought right, the game was over. I mean, he would just tell it. He's right. speaking his heart right. to you. But I'm like, even if you, make, even if, you know, you make both of these, you know, we st you still, you're going to lose this game. You lose this game. Okay. So then what happens at Portland? You are so dead in the water. You, you have given up a 45-point second quarter yeah. to that team. And yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just mediocre. They're four games under 500. Yeah. Okay? So you do that, and then you storm back and win the second half. What was it? 75, 75 to 41? Yeah, we did that, George. We put to a 40 spot on them in the third quarter. Okay. And then a 35 piece in the fourth. Okay. But what happens in the fourth quarter? LeBron only takes and makes one shot. But that's all he needed to all do because needed. all of a sudden, Thomas Bryant, who's played big TV, for you. TV been huge hey, for no, no, seriously, he huge. Has. So in just the fourth quarter alone, he goes nine points and six rebounds. And guess who? Dennis Schroeder makes two threes and makes the, goes two or two from the free throw line for eight points. And all of a sudden... Pat Bev rises and shines doing what he was brought here to do. Agitating Dame. Agitating Dame. <laughs> and, and he holds Dame to 0 for 4 from the, the floor and 0 for 3 from 3. Right. I mean, if, if you can do that in Dame's house, you got a shot. And you right? see LeBron block his shots and take it into the yeah. house. Okay, and what did Pat Bev do when the game was over? If we could see Started this, hitting please. his wrist. <laughs> hitting his it. wrist. It's Dame time. No, it's actually Pat Bev time. Oh, oh, it's Dame time. Oh, not it. He's taking his watch. Is it broken? It's broken. Is, is, is it broken? Watch is broken. I'm going to take put it off and put it in my pocket. It doesn't even work anymore. It doesn't even work anymore. Because he did that to him in his house. And he has been known to clown Dame. Remember the bubble yeah, game, yeah, the Clippers yeah. game? Skip. Yeah. I knew I had really messed up really bad. On Friday night, when Pat Bell was standing in front of me, he said, uh, calm down. He said, <laughs> he, he said he getting you out of character. I was like, Skip, I just dropped my head. I said, damn. Because he knows. Pat Bell. Pat <laughs> Bell. All people he knows. Pat Bell. But he knows when he's going over the edge. He knows what going over the edge is. Yes. Right? Okay. So I said, <sighs> Yeah. I'm like, damn. Okay. Pat Bell tell me that? There you go. I've grown I'm going to no man's right. land. So my point is. LeBron does have some help right mm -hmm. now because those are two big wins yeah. to me. Those are hard wins. I'm not saying he doesn't have help, but the thing is, it's about consistent help. That's the difference between the two. Okay, 
Jason Tatum knows he's going to get 25 to 30 points on a nightly basis sure. from, uh, from Brian, Jason okay, Brown. I got it. Uh, uh, Jokic knows that he's going to get 18 to 20 from Gordon. He's going to get 18 to 20 from sure, Jamal Murray. I, I got now, it. are you going to tell me that Pat Bell, I'm not Pat Bell, is Schroeder going to give me those kind of outings on a consistent basis? I said, okay, when AD comes back, play like AD, LeBron, okay, I'm good. Russ going to give me the, because uh, Russ was tremendous against uh, 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 Memphis. He was, and then he Not so no much show. against Portland. Well, he because he, I don't think he played in the fourth. Did he play in the fourth? Or if he did, he didn't play very many minutes. By the way, Schroeder at Portland made all 10 of his free throws. Dead eye. Yeah. Russ at Portland was, oh, this is the second half. I'm sorry, he made 10 free throws in the second half, did, yeah. did Schroeder. Let me look at my final box here of Russell West. He was 3 of 13 and 0 for 4 from 3. Right. Six total points. He, but had, he had eight rebounds. He only played six. like 25 minutes, Skip. I don't know if he played at 26, all in four. 26 minutes. Okay. Well, that's what Darvin does. If, if, if you're not producing, you sit. That, it's as simple as that, Skip. Okay. One guy, especially with AD, B, and I, only one guy is assured to be in this closing lineup. Yep. That's LeBron. I Everybody agree. else is contingent on how well are you playing or how well are you defending. Okay. This team has come to trust that LeBron James will give them 30-odd points. Yeah. Like, like clockwork. Yeah, you know that. Okay. But down the stretch, when you need somebody to have the ball and close it and make late-game free throws, Schroeder has been a godsend yeah. for your team. Yeah. So all of a sudden, the pieces are falling into place. If you need somebody to instigate and antagonize on defense, especially in the fourth <laughs> quarter, somebody his size that right. he can deal yeah, with, because yeah, he yeah. can deal with Dan. Right, right. Right? Yeah. It's, it's hard for him to deal with the big Yeah, Luka too big, yeah, and the Tatum right. and Brown, right. they're too they're big. too yeah. big. Okay? So the, I like the pieces to the puzzle are starting to fit a little bit here. And if you get AD back, I keep telling you, there's no way you can't make the playoffs with this kind of team. You made a, you, that, they don't want that. Well, what do they, they don't want? They don't want that in a seven game. You don't want to see us. No, you would not. And this is going to be one of those crazy years. You're talking about AFC quarterbacks. All of a sudden, you look at the Western Conference, and do you really want the top seed? Because somebody's going to sneak in the back door, and you're going to say, That'd wait a up. second, we just won the right to play them? Yeah, they don't want to see that. Okay. They don't want to see because, you and know, I Remember, Golden State's going to be hovering down there at mm -hmm. the bottom. The mm -hmm. Clippers are going to be hovering down there yeah. at the bottom, right? Yeah, we're going we to make sure they die there tonight. Okay. You know what? I think you're in trouble tonight. I, I got the Clippers. I, I don't know if you've been watching. Give me the five. Women. No. Give me the five. It's your home game. You're five. You're it's your favorite by your five. It's home game. But you got Kawhi. Remember huh? Kawhi? Been averaging 35. Th shoot, 30. 30 again. Shooting 50% from the three. Yep. Who shoot 50% from three-pointer? 53%. Yeah. By the way, would you believe LeBron has fallen to, to second to last in three-point shooting? 153 out of 150. All I know is the man won 67 player of the weeks. He's he's 28.6% from three. If you, if you take the next two combined, Whew. they can't see go. Really? And how many times has he been jipped out of player of the week because they gave it to him the week before? I'll take it straight up right now. I got Kawhi over LeBron. Mm -hmm. Straight up. No? You scared of those I want Clippers? a five. Give me five. No. Give you five? After all we just talked, you got Hachimura on your team now. Really? <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> he, really? He can guard Kawhi. Really, Skip? Yeah. This man said I got Hachibur. <laughs> <laughs> After you just gave the man a three as far as on the scale of moving the well, needle. I told you he can defend. You got a big defender. But you gave him a three. Why didn't you give him a seven then? Because I'm afraid about him th shooting threes in, on that stage. Exactly. He ain't in yeah. Washington. Maybe they should put a Washington Wizard jersey up on his Lakers jersey. So you think he's Clippers still in Washington? They're going to embarrass you tonight. I bet you they don't. Yeah, they will. Give me the five. TNT. Well, if they're going to embarrass me, give me five. Laker home game. It's going to be a home Laker give me, crowd. Give me the five. No. You scared? Just say that. If you're scared, scared, just say that. My team's in the basement with no fans. This man here. Come on. He's so scared. He's so scared. <laughs> I'm so, he's so scared. scared. I got Kawhi. On I, want my side. I want T. I want T. Lou to leave. I got Clippers the king of L. So I can root for him properly. I know that's true. <laughs> yeah, you're like me and Jalen right, Hurts. If you're not gonna yeah. make a do bet, we gotta move maybe, on. We maybe. We gotta move on. It's gonna be a good one tonight. Hopefully by the end of the show, my fingers are crossed for that tip off 7 p.m. It'll be a good one. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.